Day four. I started the morning by gathering some sticks and going down to the local fish market once again. Luckily, today they had not one, not two, not three, but four fishes to sell me. I paid about 16 bucks for them and carried on with my business. I grabbed some meat from my drying rack and everything seemed quite blissful to be honest. This game is actually quite nice. Take away the killing, the blood, the murder, the death, the violence, and you've got yourself a pretty peaceful, almost mesmerizing forest to gaze upon. Today I have one objective, to dive into these caves balls deep and investigate what happened to my fellow plane passengers. And who knows, maybe find some useful items along the way. Now I did have a few caves in mind that I wanted to check out, so I headed towards them. My peaceful walk to the cave got interrupted by these scary noises. Some yellow liquid dripped down my pants, so I decided to run and ruin what I thought was going to be a very chill day. Once inside of a cave, I stumbled upon a birthday party. I don't know what happened to the guest, but the decorations were still hanging as well as the piñata. I hit it a few times and it dropped some money. I don't know who owns this cave, but they must be filthy rich. I came across a few of the tenants living here, and uh, they weren't so happy to see me. And I mean I get it right, I'm a random handsome young chad who's trespassing on their property. Totally understandable, but there is no reason they should get so aggressive with me. You know I'm not the kind of guy that goes ahead and judges people. If you're happy you're happy, but these guys, I mean just look at them. It's a good thing that my rock never fails when it comes to a same day delivery ass whooping. Smash, 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 now they have all departed into the afterlife. I set the grill on high and tossed them onto it to get this cremation ceremony going. Not really sure what fire I was using, but it made everything but the bones non-existent. With that idea now out of the way, in order to honor their lives, I wore their bones as armor. I came across this little hole filled with water that was tempting me to jump in. Even though I wanted to see where it led to, I wasn't willing to risk my life for it. Drowning inside of a dark empty cave surrounded by blood ass and tits is not the way I would like to meet my maker. As of right now, my priority is to find a rebreather in order for me to explore that hole. Dark, wet, and dirty are three words I could use to describe this cave. Saying this cave is confusing would be an understatement. Everything looked the same, my flashlight had less light than my lighter, and this map might as well have been empty since I don't know what the f I'm even looking at. I stumbled upon a drawing that showed who took my son. My son, unbeknownst to me, must have been blind, because I don't remember the man having a giraffe neck and being the size of a tree, but I'll take his word for it. The darkness of this cave was starting to get to me. I felt like I kept walking around in circles and that this cave had a mind of its own. Everywhere I went had a dead end and every dead end turned into more dead ends. It made no sense. Other than these suitcases and these cases filled with cloth, this cave really didn't have much to offer to me. I kept pulling out my map just so I can fool myself into thinking I knew where I was going when in reality I was completely lost. I slid down a rope I found, burning the hair off my balls due to the friction and came across a secret stash. This room was filled with very, very valuable items. I lied. None of these mattered to me, at least not for this challenge. This room literally couldn't be more useless to me even if it tried. It had a note indicating that this man died very, very violently due to head trauma. Judging by how I like to wrap things up in this challenge, I was wondering if maybe I'm the person who killed this man without even knowing it. In another universe where I wasn't doing this challenge, I'm sure this place would have excited me. But as of right now, and as of today, the only thing useful in this cave to me were these sodas. Everything else I either had enough of or I couldn't use. You know it's kinda hard to commentate on things when you're f***ing blind. I'm not sure how, but I came across a little path filled with meat all over the floor and little penises hanging from the strings again. This led me to no one's surprise, another dead end. A few misguided turns later and I ended up at this flat fellow from my previous video. How on earth I ended up here, I have no idea. 
I checked up this rope and realized it was nighttime already. I didn't want to go back up just yet because my thirst for exploration hasn't been fully quenched. Since I kept coming across this party room more times than I would like to admit, I looked at my map very, very closely and tried to navigate to this little area I haven't yet touched. This ended up being a mistake because what I ended up coming across was something I wish I never got to see. If you couldn't tell already judging by how fast I turned around and ran, I shit my pants. I felt my ass tense up and my balls shrink as I ran away in tears. This thing was truly not a very handsome young man. I don't know what it is, I didn't like the hissing it made, I didn't like the way it walked, ran or looked, so I knew I needed to put an end to its miserable life. Holding back the vomit and sucking in the tears I had flowing down from my eyes as I approached this creature was not an easy task. These flares were basically a double-edged sword. On one hand, yes, I got more light in order to see, but on the other, bigger hand, no, I didn't like what I saw. This is why I ended up sticking to my lighter instead. I managed to get the high ground, noticed I was out of mats, but no worry, since in the end, I hit a trick shot that gave me the victory royale. This thing exploded harder than your stomach after some Taco Bell. And I was relieved that I didn't have to worry about it anymore. F disgusting, I never want to see this thing ever again. I really don't know how else to say this without it sounding bad, so I'm just going to be blunt about it. I killed these babies, like I picked up my rock, right? And I smashed it into their head. I'm not happy about it, but I mean it is what it is. You're probably wondering what do I get for killing that humanoid spider thing, well I'll tell you. Jack shit. Thankfully, there was a rope in this area, so I said, hey, you know what? I think it's safe to say I explored this cave enough, so I dipped. Now, finally seeing the beautiful sight of nature that smelt like shit, I realized that day 4 ended, and day 5 had already begun. After that traumatic experience, I found an enemy hideout. I blew a part of it up, stole useless garbage I didn't need from them, and ran off telling myself I'm a badass. But deep, Deep down in my soul, I knew that I was a lonely, afraid man, stuck on an island with naked men and women trying to kill me. My son probably doesn't love me, and no wonder my wife left me since I can't even take care of our own kid. Thoughts of staying on this island and not rescuing my son flooded my brain, since that would mean I could avoid the child support my wife put on me. But maybe saving my son is the one thing I can do to at least be able to say that I'm a good father and a good man. So I will keep on marching on until my last breath. With this lighter I bought to smoke 12 packs a day and my rock that I can call my friend, I promise you that I will find you Timmy, Jimmy, Kimmy, I don't know what your name is son, but I will find you. I went back to camp to add more glass to my rock since I really liked the feeling of holding shards of glass in my hand. Now that I know that those big walking lumps of meat were a thing, I made sure that I made this rock even stronger. Using my Dora the Explorer skills, I set off on a journey to find the rebreather. While reading my map, I got ambushed by a lovely couple. They were so cute together. I delivered a crushing blow to the back of this guy's back that shattered his spine and rendered him basically dead. For the girl, I made her brush her teeth with my rock. I then set my own rock on fire trying to burn her which in turn set me on fire since I was holding said rock. I think we can all agree that this perfectly embodies how underdeveloped my cognitive skills actually were. Nothing says intimidating like a weapon that does more damage to myself than it does to my enemies. So anyways, after that little skirmish, I headed north since I hadn't really explored much of that area yet. A cool tree, the beach, grass, and my eyes led me to another cave. This was the same cave from before that I left due to lack of resources. I made my way back to the rope that I didn't use last time, and this time went straight down. I found Jesus Christ, and just touching him made my hands burn a little. After what I've done in the past 4 days, I don't think heaven was even an option for me anymore. 
A little further ahead, I came across my rebreather. The fella next to it didn't seem to want to use it anymore, so I took it. I was very excited to jump into the water and explore these beautiful underwater caves. But boy, I couldn't have been more wrong. If the 1080p and the darkness didn't already do it, the blur definitely made these underwater sections hard to look at. Bing bong, the babies were now dead and I nearly froze to death if it wasn't for this torch. I kept moving and came across this podium. I'm telling you man, it was so dark I didn't even realize that in front of this alien stand were these two huge metal doors that swung open. Despite this, the cave was still brighter than my future. Inside were a bunch of people praying, at, at least I think they were praying, and a picture of that disgusting garbage I fought earlier. I also found bibles that I couldn't read, not due to lack of faith, but due to lack of basic literacy skills. I found my way out of this cave, through this butthole, and ended up on a lake. I killed a deer for no reason whatsoever and ran my little wet ass all the way back home. Instead of sleeping, I still had some adrenaline running through my veins so I kept moving to see what the world has to offer at night. I don't speak brain dead so I kept marching on. A man left his face to dry on this stick and I went back to the cave that had the hole with the water. I was very excited to jump in. Who knows? Maybe a whole new cave was down there, maybe some treasure. The possibilities were actually endless. And endless, they were not. It was a dead end. I jumped in twice to double check if there was actually anything down there, and I was right. There was absolutely nothing. Nothing pains me more than a bunch of bullshit. I love these false senses of joy this game gives me, because it really does feel good. The only thing this wet hole contributed to my life was a basket full of regret. I left this dumbass cave never to come back no matter what. Cold, wet, disappointed, I headed home. The sun started to rise and day 5 was ending. I feel like I haven't progressed in the slightest bit, but maybe in the next video I will. As always, thank you for watching and don't be shy to hit that subscribe button since it puts more smiles on my face than this game will ever manage to do. Comment any game, any game at all you guys would like to see me do, and I will see you later. Peace out.